there, it's Sandy Allnock, and today I'm going to be painting in my Bible Journaling Made Simple workbook. This book is printed on Bible-like paper, and I had it done specifically on Bible-like paper so that you could practice on these pages. Some of them have drawings and things like these backgrounds on them. Some of them have pictures that you can color and paint, and some of them are just blank, so you can just go crazy and do whatever it is you want to practice doing so that then when you go to do it in your Bible, you're more prepared to do that. You've practiced your skills, and you've also practiced with the mediums to see how they react, etc. That's one of the reasons that I even made this book, so that people could be practicing and not just jumping right into doing it on their Bible pages and then getting scared when things didn't work out the way they had hoped. But one of the things that I've been talking with the Lord about quite a bit for the last probably six or eight months, I've been a little more insistent that I would like him to give me an answer. And he's so far not giving me an answer because that's the way he is. He does this in his time. But I thought I would mention it to you guys and maybe I can I can get some feedback from some other people as well that I've been feeling really uncomfortable about continuing to make Bible journaling videos because I think I am doing more harm than good in some ways. What I mean by that is that I have I feel like I have not been teaching people how to think for themselves and to read scripture for themselves. There's not really a way for me to sit here on this side of the camera and teach you how to think in a YouTube video. That's just not going to happen. I did put together a class called Seeing the Scriptures because that addresses the issues that I'm going to be talking about here today, which is how to look at a scripture, how to read it, how to pray about it, and hear from the Lord yourself so that you can come up with your own images to paint in your Bible or to color in whatever your medium. It doesn't have to be painting. Because I don't feel like my role as a Bible journaler and as, as a Bible journaling teacher and a YouTuber, my role is not to teach you how to paint a tree on the X chapter of Isaiah so that everybody goes out and paints a tree on that same page in their Bible and uses the same words that I used in mine because Sandy said, my role here, I feel like, is to teach you the skills you need to be able to paint a tree someday when God gives you a tree as the image that you want to use. Like, that's what I am hoping to impart. But what has happened more and more over the last couple of years is that I've, I'm finding a lot of people just replicating what I'm doing. You know, one week I decided to paint a mountain and suddenly everybody must have heard from the Lord about a mountain because they're all painting a mountain on the same page that I'm painting a mountain on. And I just don't feel like that is anybody listening to the Lord. You're listening to me. And I don't want people to listen to me. I am not the Holy Spirit. And I feel like when I do these videos that I am getting in the way between people and Jesus. Because I'm giving you the page that I'm doing it on, and I'm giving you the medium, I'm giving you all the details, and here's how I did it, and I'm, I'm just doing it all step by step. And then not somehow, I don't, I don't know how to empower people to go out and just read for yourself and to hear for yourself, but I, I keep seeking the Lord for that. I, I don't know how to do that. And I, the class is one way that I've tried to do that, is to put that in a series of lessons. So you have 10 lessons in a row to practice that skill of reading a scripture, journaling on it in a particular way in pen and paper, and then you get images out of that. And, and just looking at a different way to think through the scriptures so that you can get your own images. Because I feel like if I continue doing this, I am just making more replicas of Sandy. <laughs> I'm not making better followers of Jesus. And that's what I want to do. I want to make better disciples. I want to be discipling people to be able to use their artistic skills to worship the Lord, not to just do what I'm doing. 
and I don't really know how to get there. The Lord has not given, given me a clear answer. I've been also asking him, can I just stop making videos? <laughs> Is that okay with you? And he's just silent on that. Uh, I take his silence as a wait and keep doing what I told you to do until I tell you to do something different. That was something I learned a long time ago. So I'm going to, I guess, keep going. As I sat here in the silence painting this and having a running conversation with the Lord, I noted to him that this page was looking a lot like my life right now. A lot of competing priorities. Some of them go really well together. So there were, there's some things in my life where if I knock out this particular item, it will also check off that other thing on the to-do list. But my business needs my attention. And I have been slacking because I've been trying to do other things. My Volunteer things are going to be starting up now. And I don't know how I used to do volunteer things before the pandemic because I can't take on another thing right now. I don't know how to do that. And I feel like everything wants a piece of me. Every partner that I work with, every social media, every email, like there's just always somebody wanting a piece of me. And so what I decided was I was going to put this in my Bible. And here's, here's the human side of me talking. I was going to trim this out, make it a tip in, and then journal on it all of the things that are bugging me. All of the stuff where I have these competing priorities that I just can't seem to get my act in gear. And if I write it all out, get this, if I write it all out, then the Lord will know what the final list is. And he can make sure it all gets taken care of and juggled properly and tell me which ones to cut off the list, right? Does anybody else have this ridiculous discussion with him? Because he already knows what the problems are. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I needed to write them out. But just as I was getting this page ready, the song came into my mind, that, that Michael W. Smith song, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you, by God. And what he had me write on this page in my journaling was not all the problems that I had, but all the times in the last couple of weeks and the last couple of days that I have seen his grace and his mercy and his faithfulness. And that was a much more productive use of my time of this page. It brought me closer to him. And that's what I want to see for other people in Bible journaling, not to replicate my journey with Jesus, but to enhance your own. So please go spend time with Jesus. Spend time with the Holy Spirit listening and getting your own relationship going with him. All right? I will see you again very soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.